friends i am ishmit kaur and i am a student of akash institute dadar branch i had been looking for a good test series so i joined the aiats test series at akash and also the crash course so that i could attempt the fts and the intensive test series i i got to know about akash from newspapers and the online research that i did with my parents and i found out that akash produces extremely good results in the medical field since i had decided to pursue this field so i joined akash so that i could practice and be successful so i was in 9th or 10th when studying biology awakened that interest in me that interest in human physiology especially when i learned about human organs and systems and the subject as a whole so then i decided to appear for the neat exam after my 10th exams i spoke to my parents about it and they were really supportive my elder sister is a chemical engineer so they were very proud that once one daughter is an engineer and the other wants to become a doctor so there would be greater diversity in the family so then i started preparing for the neat exam i dreamed to pursue my mbbs from top colleges like aims delhi and other colleges in delhi like maulana azad medical college the last few months are very crucial for any neat aspirant and here we need to focus more on revision so that's what i did i revised ncert multiple times and i practiced a lot of mcqs and i also focused on revising all the errors that i had made throughout my preparation so that i was not repeating those same mistakes in the final exam i also attempted the fts and the intensive test series from akash and those questions allowed me to revise every topic in a better manner and i also devised a strategy while attempting these tests that i would focus first on biology then chemistry and finally physics and one very important thing for practice was the catalyst package and the lastly package which i got from akash the questions were of slightly higher level which helped me with the difficult questions in neat as well i realized early in my preparation that the basic syllabus for both neat and boards is the same so then i realized that the method of practicing for both is different like neat is objective while boards are subjective so the only difference arises when we are practicing for the particular exam like we need to learn how to write answers in boards long theoretical answers so what i did i attended all my school exams i focused on them whenever they were conducted so that i could get an idea of where i stand in my board preparation and then i also focused on my neat preparation towards the end when my boards were approaching towards those last two or three months i was more focused on my board preparation and then i resumed my neat preparation so this helped me to balance both effectively and for my doubts i always consulted my teachers even for the board strategy they helped me a lot so that i could eventually score well in boards as well as in neat so initially i joined the online course with akash where i got classes and practice sheets so i used to attend the classes and practice from there then i used to attend all the tests that were provided to us and once i got the result i used to analyze all my mistakes and even if i got low marks i didn't get demotivated i just noted down all my errors in an error book and then i made sure not to repeat those errors and for doubts i used to ask the teachers online and even after my tests i used to speak with the teachers to analyze all my errors so that i could focus more on my weak areas i paid equal attention to all three subjects and i especially made it a point to revise ncert multiple times especially for bio and inorganic chemistry i revised ncert at least 6 to 8 times for these subjects which is extremely important even for physics the questions from ncert i practiced but even if ncert you don't read it multiple times for physics it is important to practice the questions and of course focus on bio and chemistry the best advice for all neat aspirants would be to stay focused for the entire period of 2 years because we need to work consistently to eventually achieve a good score in the exam so i worked more on ncert because as we now know questions are asked from each and every corner of ncert so we need to read it very minutely even the introduction part we need to read it minutely for future exams 
and plus we need to attempt as many tests as possible so that we can get an idea of our mistakes and so we do not repeat those mistakes again we need to focus on our health because if we fall ill then we'll be wasting two or three days of our time which is absolutely not done when we are preparing for such an exam and of course avoid social media at all costs so that is what will help us to achieve what we want another thing is never feel shy about your doubts right now you may feel that the doubt is basic who will explain this to me but eventually you'll realize that that basic doubt helped you to solve so many questions at the end so always ask your teachers they will be more than willing to explain it to you and thank you all the best